Uber. Uh, I've now been working with the team for a year and a half. Um, and basically, I'm not really interested in what happens in the, as far as race photography goes. It's more about the characters on the team, uh, what they do, uh, how the team operates and works together. Okay, I think, um, I don't know, when you ask what sort of what's my favourite images, uh, it's always changing because obviously I'm taking different pictures all the time, so uh, my favourites kind of change. But sometimes it's, you can get an image and it's, um, it can happen by accident really. Something will happen and you just instinctively react and you'll get a shot and that will suddenly, it'll, there might be like something that happens in the crowd or maybe a rider might just come into shot, it might just look really beautiful and it's just something that will float your boat at the time. So yeah, that's how, kind of how it happens, yeah. What sort of insight do I give to fans? Uh, I, I suppose because I'm not actually uh, a cycling fan, although I am now, when I began I wasn't, a, I wasn't into cycling. I'm not actually really into sport, but I am into cycling now. I think, I suppose because of that, I look at things in a different way. Uh, I look at things like somebody who doesn't know anything about cycling would look at, look at a bike or look at what a rider does and just sort of challenge it in a, in a sort of different way, I suppose. Yeah. So that's probably what I bring. Obviously, I shoot for Fred Perry. Brad is sort of uh, one, one of Fred Perry's um, ambassadors. Uh, there's all that sort of connection between us. Yeah, we're brothers, that's what it is. Uh, I don't know, I suppose it's a sort of mod thing, isn't it? But we've been uh, we were friends before I joined the team. So, um, so we have that kind of background that we're into the same sort of music. And yeah, so we're just mates, so yeah. That's, uh, it does actually, I, I still to this day don't really understand why it does happen, but I suppose people see the Sky Kit see a bit of hair and they think it's Bradley but I don't look anything like Bradley um, but at, at one particular time I think it was coming back from the Giro at the airport two women were convinced that I was Bradley so, so I just ended up signing the autographs for them. <laughs>